YouTube, it is Techno Paradox here, bringing you the second episode of our computer craft series. Um, in this episode, I cover how to make a automatic lighting system. So here we have a light sensor going into red alloy wire that goes into the back of our computer unit. Uh, I just set this up a while. Um, so here's the computer unit. It has a disk drive on top. We labeled the disk drive auto lighting system and we use blue for utilities in my little factory thing here uh, we labeled it automatic lighting and down here on the bottom of the computer we have a bunch of these checkered lights in a pattern a che in a checker pattern um, no mobs should spawn here because these take a place of a block so there's only like one in like seven eighths of a block so they can't spawn there um... so except for spiders they might spawn there but who cares <laughs> if you want to solve the spawning problem uh... go ahead and just like lay blocks all over down there so that there's only one block and then spiders won't spawn because there will be only seven eighths of a block and spiders can't spawn there so anyway uh... once you have all this set up the way you would prefer um, go ahead and pause the video until you get there. But once you have all that set up, we're going to go to uh, ignore what I'm doing here. Uh, I was messing around inside the disk drive, so just ignore that. Um, so first thing we're going to do is create a program on the disk called Lighting. Um, in this program, all we have to do is if redstone.get input back equal equals true then redstone dot set output bottom true and else redstone dot set output actually my bad my bad um this would be since the lights would be on this one you would set this is false i'm sorry so here So here we'd set it true because this would mean it was night time. And now we will end the program. Or end the uh, loop or the if and the if statement there. And we will reboot the system. And we need to put that parameter line there. So we will test this out quick by typing in disk slash lighting since it's on the disk. And here's a second. We're also going to add some kind of graphical interface here. It print its day. And then here we'll print its night. And we're also, to keep this from lagging it, we'll sleep this computer for, let's say, 10 seconds. So this will update every 10 seconds. Um, disk slash lighting. So you can see here it's day. And 10 seconds later, it will reboot the system. Alright, so now let's test out if it works at nighttime. Disk slash lighting. It says it's day. Um, so let me check this out quick. I don't know why it would be saying it's day. So apparently this light sensor still thinks it's day. So we're going to go ahead and pick out a handy dandy screwdriver. And let's just fix this thing. 
I'll just make that really small. Let's test out if this works. So in normal daylight levels, this will still work. Um. All right. So at nighttime, it won't work, and if it's raining, it probably won't work. So we're actually gonna go ahead and fix this quick. We're gonna make that that size. That's the yeah, whatever size that is. That's a good size. Um, so now, let's make it nighttime again and test this back out. Disk slash lighting. And it says it's nighttime and it lights that up. And it will reboot the system. So what this means, if you're asking how I terminated that, I held control and T for one second. But this means that it will reboot the system and reboot the program. Because we're going to copy the program into the startup. So as soon as this, uh, we're also going to eject the disk out of the thing. And as soon as this reboots, it will automatically run the program here. And you see, this thing is actually confused, I think. So. Because I think when this is on, it's actually telling this thing, yeah, it's actually lighting that up. So we're actually going to have to put that in small, yeah. Let me test this out now. So hopefully that works out. It's just a little glitch here with the solar panels. To fix this, we could actually just do this. That would probably fix it pretty well. Yeah, it's not on. So, um, actually, yeah, so... <sighs> just some little errors there with the lighting. So, the program, it keeps rebooting. It says it's night. If you change it to daytime, within 10 seconds of it be turning day... It will turn. Yep. Okay. So our lighting program is all set up. Um, let's go ahead and clear our inventory. So that is how you make a lighting, an automatic lighting system for your room or whatever using computer craft and the light sensor. Um, along with, you can use no or uh, redstone lamps if you want for the floor here or wherever you can also put some up on the roof just connect them with the alloy or redstone or whatever you want to use so that is how you use computer craft for an automatic lighting system so thank you for watching tune into our next video where i'll be teaching you how to make a password door lock go ahead and subscribe uh... if you want to so you don't miss any more videos I'll leave some feedback, likes, ratings, comment, and goodbye.